Welcome to another video of uh, Ash Eat World on my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm in uh, an area of Paphos in Cyprus um, and this is a restaurant called The Lodge and it's South African. So we've come for a brighter night or that's the uh, equivalent of uh, barbecue in Afrikaans. So we've been told this is a really nice restaurant. So I can go down the menu from here. So this is Ash Eat World on my YouTube channel. So we're going into this uh, South African uh, inspired restaurant now called The Lodge. atmosphere here A South African inspired restaurant hello welcome hey how are you very well yeah. yes thank you thank you Thank you. Nice appetizer here. This is deep fried uh, pita bread with a braai sauce, so it's a barbecue sauce. A speciality of uh, South Africa braai. There's a nice bottle of uh, Western Cape South African Pinotage by KWV. And here's the cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers, baby. It's a beautiful wine. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I've never tried this before, but this is deep fried pita bread. It's very crispy. It's like chips. And then you put it into this bray sauce, which is a barbecue sauce. It's really, really crispy and ever so tasty. I've never tried this before. Really, really Moorish, but I don't want to spoil my main course at all, even my starter, so this will be it for me for now. Mm. One of our starters, it's called Boar Wars, it's like a, a South African uh, sausage. And I've gone for the riblets, which are sort of small pork uh, riblets with a, with a, with a sauce. It's absolutely delicious. I think everyone knows I'm a bit of a sucker for my uh, pork ribs, but these are delicious in a very nice barbecue braai sauce. So I'll probably get famous for uh, eating ribs now. Absolutely delicious. The meat's falling off the bone. Really nice here at the lodge. Riblets, pork riblets. Beautiful. Thank you. We both went for the sirloin, uh, so we've got a nice, I've got a 300 gram sirloin here. It's really nicely presented. I've got a few uh, triple cooked chips to go with that and a, a salad here. That looks really fresh. And then we have some, what's this called? Pap. This is called pap. So it's South African. Is it a sadza? Yes. It's like a sadza. This is pap. 
and here we have some mixed uh, vegetables. So this is our meal here, or our main courses here at the lodge, looking very nice. I'm going to cut into this sirloin now. So this is my sirloin, medium rare, with a nice layer of fat on the outside. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, sirloin steak, um, and we asked um, for the cooking temperature to be, to be how the chef recommended, and this is how my wife's came. And for sirloin steak, it's clearly undercooked. It's clearly undercooked. The fat hasn't been cooked out. It's very gristly. Um, I do honest reviews and um, this is not the best steak I've ever had or it never will be, I don't suppose. But I mean, I chose sirloin because I wanted a nice cut with some fat on it, but this is definitely undercooked. This is just not how it should be. This is a sirloin steak, so it's got fat content and the fat has not been cooked out. It's, um, it's, it's really not very good at all. So, um, okay, you know, people have come here, said it's a fantastic steak. It's definitely not a fantastic steak. Um, this has been undercooked. So I do honest reviews. This is the lodge. Bill here at the lodge. So it's 93 euros. Uh, okay, we had a bottle of wine. Um, the steak was, uh, was absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah, a bit, Big Rudge paying this now, um, offered a glass of uh, Prosecco in compensation, but um, I don't think we'll be coming back here. Um, everyone obviously maybe different experience, but uh, the way that uh, we were treated and the way that uh, this was handled, um, I'm not likely to come back here again. Um, so uh, that's the uh, end of my video really here tonight at the Lodge. This is uh, Ash Eat World on my YouTube channel. Um, nice setting, very busy restaurant. I think we just um, rely on the fact that uh, it gets word of mouth or it's busy and it's supposed to be the best steakhouse in Paphos. Maybe it is, but it's not very, it's certainly not impressive for me. Um, so this is Ash Eat World. If you like my videos, I do honest reviews. Please subscribe to my channel if you, if you like it and uh, you can make your own mind up whether you want to visit the lodge here in Paphos. Okay, we, uh, we had uh, one of the steaks was not quite um, as we'd expected it. We'd asked the chef to cook it how we wanted it cooking and he, he recommended. Uh, but when it came, it was very rare and it wasn't uh, really cooked. The fat wasn't cooked on it. But to be fair on the restaurant, they came along and they actually removed that from, the, uh, from our bill. So, um, yes, that, I mean, that's the way to do it. Uh, we should have sent it back sooner. But uh, I didn't realise my wife was trying to eat it and it was not in very good condition. But they, to be fair, the management have come along. They took that from our bill. So we've had a, um, a reasonable experience here. Um, I'm sure that not everyone gets that uh, kind of uh, result. But um, I enjoyed my steak and uh, they, took, they took the second one off the bill, which is uh, really credible to the restaurant. So, um, Yes, you, you do your own thing whether you want to come here or not, but uh, it was uh, they did the right thing in the end. So this is Ash Eat World on my YouTube uh, channel. I do honest reviews of what I find and what I see, and that's an honest review. The food was very good overall. Not, my steak was okay, but as I say, my wife was a bit disappointing, but they've uh, rectified it. So this is Ash Eat World uh, signing out. Thank you.